Hi guys, this is Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with an exciting haul. This is my first uh, haul from the pharmacist's daughter and even more exciting, this is my first vendor wax purchase ever. Like I think um, I was watching one of Martha's videos and this was kind of around the time she was starting to get into vendor wax and she mentioned getting a purchase from the pharmacist's daughter. And so that's when like I went to their, joined their Facebook page, saw that they were having this, um, I think it's like a Halloween advent calendar or just Halloween pre-order uh, towards the end of July. And I was like, you know what? I kind of want to try stuff. And so this was my first Vendor Rex order. Obviously, you know, with the um, turnaround time, it took a little while to be made, but everything got here today. And y'all, I am so excited. Okay, so if you're interested, please stay tuned. Can you tell how excited I am? All right, so I've already pulled everything out of the bag. Um, it arrived today. I think it ships like maybe a couple of days ago. Actually, right around the time I was getting ready to say, hey, like, is there any update on when it's coming? Then I got a shipment notification literally the same day. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I chose not to do the advent calendar because there was some sense that I was really unsure about. So, and I wasn't at that point even like adventurous or brave enough to like try since they were different. I am slowly like working my way out of my comfort zone. So these are probably like really bakery heavy, but let's go ahead and get started. First off, I did get a really generous size sample and this is called Scarecrows. Oh man, and this smells absolutely delicious. Smells like it has pumpkin and maybe some sort of spice. Mm, and maybe some sort of cookie note, like it almost smells like a pumpkin cookie. Speaking of, uh, this video is gonna go up hopefully Monday <laughs> morning. Um, and I know they're having a pre-order right now and I think it will end Monday night. So I'm curious, are any of you all participating? I am, it's gonna be one of my last um, purchases before my no to low buy. So anyway, let's continue on. Let me just move everything over here and then we can talk about each thing and I'll try to move it over. So the first thing that I got is called Fangtastic. And this is sugar and spice, sugar cookie dough, French toast, sweet and creamy. And it's this beautiful, let me see if I can get it to hold on. Come on ring light. I'm not sure if it's focusing as well as I want it to. Oh, maybe it is. Either way. Um, this is like a breakaway bar. Mmm, smells really nice. And I'll tell you what, like, I, I know, like, this may need a little bit of cure time, but, oh, this smells good. Everything was, like, nice and strong. Like, I could smell it through the bag, so I was like, oh, I feel like you're ready to warm. I'm going to give it a little bit of time to cure just a little bit, but I'm I'm kind of ready to warm. That is the hardest part about um, vendor wax. It's like giving it cure time because sometimes I want to warm it right away. But anyway, the next thing that I got is pumpkin poison. I'm sorry, pumpkins and poison. This is pumpkin souffle, s'mores, pumpkin donuts, and sugar cookie royale. Oh, that smells so good. Mm. Mm, I definitely get that pumpkin and the spice mm, and that cookie dough. Oddly enough, though, I really get the spice on the back. It almost smells like there's a little bit of chocolate in it, even though I know there isn't. And let me just show you what that looks like. Look how beautiful and cute that is. It's so adorable. I'm going to be so sad to chop all of this. <laughs> all right. So the next thing we got is, oh, and this is a bunt. This is gorgeous <laughs> this is pumpkin pecan waffles circus concessions and pumpkin peanut peanut brittle i love pumpkin pecan waffles so i'm quite sure that was the reason why i got this and this is a nice size bunt hmm and this is a unique scent i get the pumpkin peanut brittle right off the bat and i can smell the pumpkin pecan waffles It's interesting. This is one of those that I feel like is more, it's gonna be more of a complicated warm, like it smells one way and then once you warm it, it smells a little differently. What it kind of smells like is, um, what's that Bath and Body Works candle that everybody was going crazy over? The P, 
peanut, pumpkin, peanut, brittle, whatever that candle was. This is what that kind of smells like to me. Okay, next we have cotton, I'm um, sorry, witchful thinking. Okay, and this is what it looks like in the packaging. And this is cotton candy frosting, cupcakes at Tiffany's, caramel popcorn, and cinnamon sugar donuts. Ooh, and I think this is supposed to be like a little, is this supposed to be a little eye? I'm not sure, but the shapes are so cute and fun. Mmm. Oh, this smells delicious. I get the pumpkin, I mean, not the pumpkin, I'm sorry, the cupcakes at Tiffany is what I was thinking, but it's not like as overwhelming as like cupcakes and Tiffany's normally is. Like normally I get a strong chocolate note. I don't get that. I think the cotton candy really helped to kind of tone down the chocolate note, but they play really well together, which I wouldn't have thought about. Mm. I get a little bit of cinnamon, but it's not too, too spicy. I don't know if I necessarily get a popcorn note, but you know, that may be something that comes out on warm or I just don't know what popcorn note smells like. <laughs> So, not sure which one, but it smells really good. Mm. Okay, so next we have Creepy Carnival Circus, which is Circus Concessions, Cinnamon Sugar, and Glazed Donuts. Like I said, this was not an adventurous pre order, this was my first pre order, so I literally kept it safe. So, you will probably see a lot of the same scent notes, and I'm okay with that because I can warm bakery year round. Oh, this is oh, hmm. I definitely get that cinnamon sugar and snickerdoodle. Mm. It's just like a warm kind of spicy fall scent. It almost smells like a um, like a bakery version of the leaves candle from Bath and Body Works or just the leaves scent. Mm. Okay, I like that. And look, it's this cute little, see that cute little ghost? Isn't that cute? Oh look, and my camera actually focused like it was supposed to. I'm so proud of you. All right, let's move on to the next thing. Then we have Unearthly. Okay, and that's this cute big leaf. And the scent notes are pumpkin caramel crunch cake, creme brulee, marshmallow fluff, and vanilla pound cake. Mm. Okay. This definitely does smell like a nice dense cake. Mmm. It smells good. It's like the more I smell it, the better it smells. Like the more I smell it, the more I get some of those notes like that caramel, that cake note. Mm. This is one again that I think is gonna be more of a um it's uh what, what, what am I trying to say? I don't want to say a complicated warm, but I think it's one of those that like as you warm it, more of those scent notes are going to come out because the more I smell it, the more I get different scent notes. Next we have, oh, and this is so cute. Trick or treat. Look at this, y'all. Look how cute that is. And this is uh, Cider Lane, Marshmallow Fireside, and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. This was kind of brave for me because I don't really mess with Marshmallow Fireside like that, but I have found that when it's mixed with other things, I enjoy it. Let's see. Mm, okay, this is nice. And it's not like your traditional bakery because of that um, marshmallow fireside and that cider lane. I definitely get that cider lane. I find a lot of times with apple scents, my nose picks up that apple first. And I do get a little bit of that smokiness from that marshmallow fireside. And I can pick up hints of that pumpkin pecan waffle in the background. And let me show you this cute shape. Come on. You gonna focus? You gonna focus? There we go. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. Like I said, I'm gonna be real sad cutting all of these up, y'all. <laughs> all right, so we only got a couple more. So this one is um, Every Day is Halloween, King Cake and Pumpkin Souffle. And this one did arrive, it was a little open, but it looks like it's okay, like it wasn't super melted. It's just, it's a messier bag because of that. But these are cute little pumpkins. Mm, and this smells, delicious i am one not one of those people who doesn't do pumpkin in the fall i love pumpkin scents like i don't necessarily have to have pumpkin pie or like a pumpkin spice latte but in wax form give me all the pumpkin that smells super yummy um and these are just like the shapes of cute little pumpkins let me see if i can get it to focus so you can see it who knows if it's going to i don't think it is we're not gonna keep fighting with the camera okay 
Next is Spookified, and this is Mold Cider Marshmallow Fireside Toasted Marshmallow Cinnamon Sugar Donuts and Warm Vanilla Sugar. Okay. Uh-oh. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Mmm. Definitely get that, um, mmm, that mold cider. Like I said, I pick up that apple note first. Mmm, that smells really good. Mmm, I mainly just get the cider with like a uh, marshmallow fire cider in the background and a little bit of cinnamon. But man, this is good. And look at that cute bat. <laughs> it's so adorable. And the thing that I like about these, like these were reasonably priced, especially for the size. So I'll probably be able to get like this into three warmers, like just cutting it up into pieces. So, all right, next up we have, and these are like little smaller breakaway bars. This is called If the Broom Fits, Iced Lemon Cookies, Blueberry Muffin, Cream Cheese Frosting, and Pumpkin Cupcakes. so good I love a lemon note first off mmm I definitely pick up that ice those ice lemon cookies immediately and I think I pick up a little bit of that blueberry because it's kind of toning down the lemon and when I say toning it down I mean like it's not as harsh you know sometimes like lemon can be like boom like bam right there in your face or nose mmm 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 I really like that that's good. That is good. Now I'll be able to get a couple of warms out of that. All right. All right. And I'm back to talk about the very last thing in my order. My daughter came in and she was like, ooh, we're sniffing wax. So I had to share some with her. So anyway, I was saying that I have this big old piece of wax and this is the slice of demise. And it is pecan pie, pie crust, vanilla ice cream, vanilla and vanilla frosted cinnamon rolls. Stay right there. And I will open it for you. There you go. Uh-huh. All right. Mmm, y'all. 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 I'm so glad I got this. Look at this. First off, can we just talk about the presentation? Let's see if I can get it to real. Look how absolutely beautiful. Y'all, and this smells like it looks, like a delicious, decadent piece of cake. Mm, this smells so good. And I'm gonna pass this um, to my daughter because she wanted to smell it. Yeah, here, pass this one back. Here, take this one, give me this one. All right, don't drop it, please. Thank you. So, that is everything that I got in my farmer's, uh, farmer's, <laughs> pharmacist daughter, um, Halloween pre-order uh, and I love all of it like I love the packaging I love how cute all of the shapes are I think the prices are absolutely phenomenal as I've already said I'll be repurchasing so I just cannot wait to give this just a little bit more cure time so I can get to warming I hope that you all enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a like comment down below let me know did you participate in the Halloween pre-order back in July Will you be participating in the Pharmacist Daughters pre-order that's happening right now? It's like very bakery and coffee heavy. I am curious. So yeah, I will talk to you guys next time. And is there anything else I want to say? I don't think so. Bye guys.